And we have had a heck of a time getting in here, man. What's going on, trucking junkies? My battery's gonna run out because I'm an idiot. We're here at Menards. See? And when I mean we, I got Mr. Hugo with us. Say hi to YouTube. <clears throat> He's gonna be with us for about three weeks. And we're gonna get stuff done. We got this drop off. It's gonna do some work. He's learning how to do straps. So, uh, some of you guys from different parts of the country or even you know a different country you might not know what a Menards is it is a it is a home improvement store uh, in uh, in the in the north of our country we don't we don't really have a lot of Menards down in the south they're kind of a regional thing they got like a super what they call a super region but they do a lot of stuff like Lowe's and Home Depot they don't do it. They don't do the building and stuff that that Menards does. Check this out. So Menards do their own trusses. That's their truss factory over there. Uh, on the other side of the railroad tracks over there, they do like cinder blocks and stuff. Make their own cinder blocks. They bring in you know like concrete and sand and whatever. Do their own mixing. All right, pretty neat big facilities all their concrete and stuff they're going to make into into cinder blocks and like landscaping blocks castle blocks that kind of stuff they're salt and we just pulled in he's already loading us i'm gonna go to nashville look at it here it comes We are loaded. 17 pallets. Gotta be tarped. Alright, so what goes on these on this load, do you know? Straps. What'd they teach you? Okay. So you got straps. How many straps? Let's put it this way. How many straps go on the front pallets? On these front two pallets right here, how many straps? Two. two. How many go on the back back pallet? Two. two. And then how many on, on the ones in the middle? One. Correct. All right. What else goes on this? Your it's a palleted load. Your trip chains. Trip chains, front and back, right? Just like we had on the on the shingles, correct? Yep. All right. And then we're gonna put two tarps on it because one tarp won't fit. Okay. All right. So you're gonna open up open up that door we're gonna get our straps out and we're gonna start shooting straps I'm just over here using nature's facility because you know, this place didn't have a bathroom sometimes you gotta use what you got Hugo's over here doing a good job getting straps on oh, we gotta put tarps on then we can get out of here I only got like 300 miles to go though so it won't be a real late day today, which is good. They have no tarp station, no fall protection. You have to be super careful when you're up on this bag good <clears throat> about getting these tarps on here and not falling in a hole. See, to where he's at, he's got two pallets there to straddle, but right in the middle, you got a big old hole there you don't want to fall in. Mm-hmm, uh-huh. And there she is, everybody. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. We're headed to Nashville. Let's get out of here. So we're here in Nashville delivering to Perk Products. And we have had a heck of a time getting in here, man. We came up in on this street over here. And we tried to make this turn here to get up this hill at the railroad track. And uh, that was a no-go. It's got a drop off, see? It's got a drop off down there. You can't get enough angle uh, to get the trailer around that pole. So we had to go around that way and around the 
construction that they're doing up this hill. They're building apartments up there. Then we had to come down the hill and park in front of here. <sighs> Horrible. Had Hugo down there practicing his rolling. Because practice makes perfect, right? Uh, so, in order to get out of here, We are gonna, uh, we're gonna come here, into there, and around that way is where we're gonna go. And then back up that way past the apartments. Man. Mm -mm -mm. So, I got a comment in my comment section. And this is now. I'm probably two weeks behind on, on videos. But uh, the video that came out last night was uh, we were picking up the empty trailers to take back to Maverick. And someone commented, you know, because of armchair quarterbacks, you know, that my student didn't give a tug test when he backed up into the trailer. One thing you guys need to understand, and I've said this before, I don't show you everything, okay? Make your comment if you want. Just don't don't think that we don't do what we're supposed to do out here. There are people that don't, all right? But every time you back up into a trailer, you switch a trailer, or you get new trailers, you do a tug test. And yes, he did one. I just didn't show it. I mean, I, I just, I do not understand why people don't get that I don't show you everything. <laughs> I mean, you guys want to see me sleeping at night? I can do that if you want. I'll show you 24 hours of Jeremy Tate. I, I don't, I don't know if I'd suggest that, but you know, probably people wouldn't probably watch it. But you know, I just don't show you everything. I take, I take two hours worth of video. Some days, some days I only take 30 minutes worth of video, and I boil that down to about 10, 15, 20 minutes. So I take a lot of stuff out. And if you've never edited any videos, anything like that, you never thought about it and stuff, some of these YouTubers, they'll shoot four or five hours worth of video, and they'll cut that down to 10 minutes. All right? We just don't show you everything. So keep that in mind, you know, when you're, when you're thinking that we're not out here doing what we're supposed to be doing. Just keep that in mind. I just don't show you everything. So we are being loaded. These are apparently they're fire bricks. Fire bricks on pallets. All right, getting ten pallets should be one tarper. We'll see. They're already loaded, man. Look at there. Look at how dense that stuff is. Some kind of metal. No, I bet that's carbon. Yep. Yep. I bet it's carbon. I had to guess. Hey, put that one in between the spools right here. Yeah. There you go. That'll work. Let's go ask Troy if I need edge protecting on this stuff. <laughs> ah, Troy says no edge protection because we got carb or we got cardboard on the side and that'll work works for me we're gonna get the rest of this on and i'll show you after okay so now i don't think this is carbon because i'm an idiot i know there's somebody out there that's gonna 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 say well i know what that is because i work there or i work with that stuff and that's great put a comment down below if i'm wrong but according to this tag it says new mag 708 pounds so i'm gonna assume and you know what happens when you assume i'm making an ass out of myself um <laughs> they're right so new mag so just going by that and the metallic see that rainbow i don't know if you can see it yeah you can see that rainbow there 
I bet this is magnesium. There's a flake of it. No flake. Of it. Okay. It, it, it. But that's magnesium. Magnesium. She got to come out here and take pictures when we get the tarp on, so I'll ask her. And there she is, everybody. She turned out pretty good, huh? She did a good job. Uh, <clears throat> had to do some arts and crafts, though. There is a hole on the top. I don't know if you can see it. I don't have my selfie stick. We had to put some tape on it. Had a hole there. We had to tape it up. Had another hole over there. Had to tape up. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh. Holes, holes, holes. Don't have holes in your tarp, right? Water gets in. Even though these are all wrapped in plastic. Oh, man, I forgot to ask her. Forgot to ask her what kind of stuff this was. That's all right. I'll try to remember tomorrow when we drop it off to ask somebody what kind of stuff that was. I believe it's, I think it's magnesium, but we'll find out.